Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome YouTube. And today I am very excited to share with you. There it is. For those of you in the know, you will you would undoubtedly already um, be familiar with this kind of box. This is coming from CGC and we have some slab comic books to share with you. This is a blind unboxing, which means I don't know what the grades are inside. Uh, and we are gonna find out together. So if you're curious and you wanna know which books lie within and the grades that, are, that I gotten, come on back after the short video intro. Hey, we're back once again, Comic Sniper here, along with my trusty sidekick. Mark III, my level of flying Iron Man. Say hello. As you can see, we are doing an, uh, another great CGC blind unboxing video. For those of you who are in the know, have you have seen my channel before? Uh, we're gonna do it again. I'm gonna uh, let you know what uh, what books we have. Uh, and before I re reveal the grades, I'm gonna sh share with you my prediction of what I found before I sent the book in and I'll give you my prediction on what grade that is for those of you who are not in the know I don't know how you found me but thank thank you for being here I'm glad you're here anyways and if you thought this was going to be uh, like a com comedic channel because of the name comic sniper <laughs> sorry to disappoint I am not a comedian although I am I, in my own mind I you know I think I am but uh, if you talk to my wife, she'll tell you differently. And she's probably right. <laughs> okay. So aside from that, we're going to carry on here. And okay, so the format will be for those of you who, uh, who, have, who don't know. And uh, as a refresher to those who do. Uh, once again, I, like I said, I'm going to give that my prediction. We're going to do a reveal on the grade. I will go back into my computer and open up CGC and find out what the graders notes uh, says about each of the books and I will interlace that in between each one. I have not jumped on CGC to find out what the graders notes are or the grades on these books so we're going to find that out together and then we are going to talk about whether I agree disagree with the magic of editing because I'm not going to take up your time opening this uh, these this box in front of you. We're going to get right to the comics. Here we go. So first up we have the Eternals number one with the MCU movie uh, going to be uh, coming up soon, relatively soon, depending on uh, your point of view. Uh, this book is definitely uh, one of the hot ones. That right now with this one, this is a mid-grade book. Uh, it does have some uh, quite a bit of flaws on this, including, as you can see, there's a color breaking crease uh, running on the corner here, as well as uh, other things. Um, my prediction for this grade is 6.5, okay, and let's see how we do. 6.5! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Bang on, so very nice right off the bat. I, uh, I've got one correct, and as I've mentioned, I will interlace the uh, graders notes from CGC and see what they say if they say anything at all and then we'll get right on to the next one Okay, so here's something I didn't plan on before I made this video when I started making this video Because I as I stated earlier uh, the format will be the same as what I've done before in my previous video, which is uh, me showing you the, the CGC box um, I have not seen the grades uh, we're going to open them together. We're going to do a blind unboxing. I'm going to do a reveal on the comics that uh, uh, that I had graded. So you'll get to see that. And then, of course, we're going to do the big reveal of the grades. And then cut into what will be the graders' notes so we can discuss uh, what CGC thinks of the book, how they graded it, what the reasoning is, and then compare that to mine. Until this happened. Here's the books. Okay, so now you'll get you'll, now you guys will know what books I submitted. It's just fine. But usually here there's a link to tell the, that brings up the graders' notes, which is 
obscurely absent. <laughs> there is nothing here. I have never seen this before. Son of a gun, you're blowing my mind! <laughs> Ever since uh, CGC has uh, started doing this, and I've been sub submitting to, to CGC for quite a while, a uh, few years now, uh, when they started having this format where you can see the grades online and then they'll, the, the graders notes areas there, there's always been something, uh, if it was below, let's say 9.8, 9.6, even a 9.4, sometimes they won't have any graders notes, but below that, usually they will put something, whether it be, you know, heavy creases or, or uh, stresses on the cover to break color, uh, stains, Foxing, all kinds of uh, tears, you know, whatnot, the cover detach, you name it. The the highlights, the the big stuff, at least they will at least put that on there, uh, so that they can give you some sort of you know idea what the what the graders were thinking when they did that. Well, I'm supposed to intercut all the all of the graders' notes at the same time as I've done before, but <laughs> I guess since I can't do that. Because uh, now you will also know that I'm not going to be able to cut in the graders notes for any of the other comics. So it's going to look really weird that I will be talking after this and I'm not going to be able to show you anymore. So it's going to be quite a short video. So excuse my, uh, I guess, format and, and the way I'll be discussing the books because I'll be expecting from before that I have graders notes coming for you guys or at least some of them might have some graders notes unfortunately they all don't and that's all I can do <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you are so well we still have the rest of the video because you um, you will still get to see the grades um, but then I will return at the very end and we can discuss uh, a little bit more on this and what kind of a mess is going on here. Okay, so enjoy the rest of your video. I will we'll talk to you again. Next up, we have, voila, another Eternals number one. As I said, uh, I'm able to pick these up uh, rel relatively good deal. So I'm hoping to uh, turn this over for a profit at some point. I believe with the flaws that this has, as you can see, just uh, going by what you can see from here, it's got a, a pretty heavy spot, uh, sorry, a wrap, a miswrap on it. But uh, aside from that, this is a pretty high grade one. Uh, my prediction on this, I believe is 9.4. Okay, so let's see what we have. Boom! 9-4! Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> two for two! Okay. Very nice. So, let's take a look at the graders notes and on to the next book. Okay, up next, number three of eight, we have... There it is! Nova number one. This is, of course, first appearance and origin of uh, Richard Ryder. Uh, well, the Nova Corps has already been introduced in the Guardians of the Galaxy, as you know, but we are all collectively wanting this character to show up. He, there is no definite definite uh, uh, news yet, but we can all feel it, can't we? He is, he is going to be busting on to the, to the MCU anytime, and that's why this book is super hot. Uh, and it's uh, it just keeps uh, going up in value. I have a couple of these that I sent in. Okay, there's, so there's another one. Uh, one of them is, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know what? Because there's, I can see the color breaks that is on the top of this. Um, I do remember this. this. So this should be the lower one. Uh, I predict... I will give this one an 8.5. Okay, that's what I that uh, that's what I had in my notes, an 8.5. Hopefully I'm not wrong on this one. But we will see and we can discuss. Here we go. 8.0. Oh, come on! Mm. Okay, so they uh they got me thinking this is okay, well 8.0. Alright. 
So let's uh, hopefully all I can hope for is a really good amount of detailed graders notes so we can uh, so we can find out exactly why uh, CGC gave that an 80. Okay, and we're on to the next one. Okay, so book number four, I was able to find the second one. This is Nova number one again. This is the higher grade uh, copy compared to the last one. Uh, which I'm still kind of thinking about <laughs> but let's move on let's move on let's find out if we can if we can get back on track here and uh, my prediction for this book is a solid this one's pretty high grade so I'm predicting a 9-4 here we go and the winner is 9-2 no god no, God, please, no, 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 no! Dang. So two on, two off. Boy, they don't like my prediction on the Nova, huh? Okay. We better check out the graders' notes and find out what happened here. All right. See you in the next one. Book number five. This is pure speculation as... I have for you A Force number one. This is uh, the first appearance of A Force. Um, picked up several of these books, uh, high grade. I thought I might as well send one in. As far as speculation goes, with the way the female uh, characters are being introduced and how they're really moving in that direction, it I feel it's just a matter of time before this book, uh, A Force. An A Force team, the all female Avengers, really uh, jumps on the scene on an MCU. So that's why I might as well take a chance. And this is a, a high grade copy, one of my high grade copies. So I'm predicting, hey, this should be a 9 8, but let's see if uh, CGC agrees with me, with me. Here we go. Here it is, 9 8. I love it when a plan comes together. Now, that this is just a, this is just speculation. So, and uh, at this point, you know what? I don't think that we're gonna have any graders notes on on this because my experience is CGC does not uh, does not provide graders notes uh, even up to nine four. So they're just too lazy. But hopefully they prove me wrong. So we'll find that very soon. Okay. Speaking of a force, we have another one here. Uh, this one's a little bit different, of course, is A Force number one, but this is the Adam Hughes variant, so uh, really sought after. Uh, another high grade one, I believe this is a 9 6. Might as well give me my prediction as a 9 6. Okay, so here we go. Boom! 9 6. Okay! Pretty happy with that. All right. Yeah, I, I, I remember there was something on this book that wasn't, uh, I believe it's right there. That one. The, uh, yeah. That that was enough of a ding to make this a 9.6. But yeah, still happy with that. Awesome. So I got four correct and two wrong. Here we go. Second to last one. And I bring to you another big book this is uh, savage she-hulk number one first appearance of she-hulk and uh, of course the origin story uh, they this this book is definitely heated up and it's uh as she is set pretty shortly to make her way onto the screen whether the small screen or big screen will uh, remain to be seen nothing nothing ironed out yet but uh, definitely uh, it I, I believe it's close so that's why this book is really ramping up in price and this book I have uh, uh, I have two of these so just so you know the last book is going to be the she -Hulk. is it going to be a she-hulk as well um, I think this is this is going to be the lower uh, grade as I can see already there's some several color breaking text on the edge uh, I believe this one is going to be a 7-0 let's see how we do 8 0. Damn! Uh oh. I'm either. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, I either have the other one wrong with this one, and I got, uh, I'm either wrong as far as the 7.0 being an 8.0, or my higher grade one, this could be the higher grade one, and it's lower because I predict the next one to be a lot higher than this. Well, not a lot higher, but higher. <laughs> so I, well, we'll find out soon. <laughs> After, we'll check out the graders notes first. Okay, here it is, the last one, as promised. This is the She-Hulk number one. Again, first appearance of She-Hulk, origin story. Uh, this is supposed to be the higher grade because even though it's got the um, a little bit of uh, miswrap, uh, this is a really clean copy. I I predict a 9-2 on this. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of apprehensive because if the first one I predict was a 7-0 and if this is that 7-0, then this is going to be the lower grade which is either 7-0 or what, whatever the grade is. And that means my 9-2 prediction would have been an 8-0. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Well, let's find out either way. So, I said 9-2. Here we go. 9-4. Show me the money. Okay. <laughs> so, I got... Uh, Let's see how uh, so this one was definitely the higher grade one so they gave me a better grade so and the same with the with my other she-hulk which i got the uh, eight oh okay so before we go any further let's jump into the graders notes now okay so we're back um now we know what the books that i've submitted are uh i've done the big reveal i've done the the grades as you can see from here and then, of course, as you know, we don't have any graders notes to talk about. Um, typically, the 9.8s, the 9.6s, uh, uh, in my experience, don't usually have graders notes on it. CGC is kind of lazy in that way in the past. Uh, maybe into the point that of 9.4, and uh, as you can see, the Eternals 1, and then Savage Seahawk. Savage Seahawk. Um, Usually, they will have, like, um, the modern books won't usually have anything, but sometimes the the bronze and silver age, if they're that high, will typically still have something. But the six fives, eights, and so forth, those usually accompany something in here. And that's what I've come to expect from CGC from my past dealings with them, and I've I've been submitting uh, to them now for a uh, number of years, uh, ever since they started doing this format. So it surprised me that this came about. So I've shot this already, uh, the video previously with my uh, unblind unboxing, and then I also uh, <laughs> shot the, uh, at early on, I showed you that the greater zones aren't here. So. After knowing, uh, seeing this, I actually, I called CGC and uh, I want to give you guys kind of uh, what our conversation kind of went like, okay? So I, I asked them, you know, I gave them the information here uh, and the person on the phone was basically telling me that it's, uh, there is no graders notes. The graders didn't write down anything. They didn't bother putting it down. And that, uh, and I said, why is that? He goes, well, it's their prerogative. They don't have to put anything down. It's not, uh, they're not, um, you know, obligated to, is what the, is what he's saying. So I said, well, that's not usually my. I, I've said that that's not usually my experience in the past. And he says, well, that's that's what's happened now. And they're, you know, they're not. They don't have to do that if they don't want to. Uh, I then kind of went into the. What about, you know, um, accountability when it comes to a grading? <clears throat> Not just whether it's high, whether it's low, right? If I if I decided I got a, you know, I thought this was a, a nine or a, an eight o or a six o because it has a huge crease down the middle of it, 
in my experience, that would be a, let's say, a 6.0, and all of a sudden you got a 9.6. You know, what accountability would that have? Would they have to do that? Well, in no uncertain terms, and in so many words, they said they are not. Okay, they are not accountable. They don't care. It's like if you, and basically, if I don't like their services, I can go somewhere else. I don't have to do the. I don't have to submit to them because this is their policy, and it's true. That that's true. It is their policy. They don't have to do any of that. But you would think that um, a company who's uh, trying to be more transparent, or at least you know, they're they're telling they're telling us how good they are, uh, but yet don't want to be accountable. And don't want to be shown, you know. Don't want to don't want to give the reasoning for the grades that they give. Okay, I think that is unscrupulous. That is, you know, um, not good business sense. And that uh, basically, they're just uh, they're running on their fact that they are first, and they, you know, they their uh, their slabs are. Uh, right now getting the they're, they're ahead of the, the competition so they're using that to for for themselves and they're not holding themselves accountable they don't feel that they have to I think that's wrong and as of right now I don't think I will be sending um, any more submissions to CGC um, as far as I know, I've been hearing things like the CBCS is, uh, has got their um, their time, uh, their turnaround time has gotten better. So I think I'll be I'll be using them uh, from from here on in. I do have I don't have a lot of books left to that I want to slab at the moment, um, but I'm I'm very distraught and uh, very upset at uh, how CGC is treating us okay this this is not this is not good uh, this is uh, very sloppy lazy I even called them that right to, to them I said they were they were lazy for doing this I can't even uh, it's not this not even here I, I said what about if I want to you know because you have the option if you go into the if you bought slabs uh, you can look up uh, previous, you know, uh, graders notes if they uh, if they have it, <laughs> and pay for it to get the graders notes from from books you didn't submit. Okay, but these are the books I submitted. So, um, but I can't even do that. I I, I couldn't even pay for them because there there's no graders notes available. Apparently, they didn't bother writing it down. I mean, uh, you know, there is some. Right now, at this point, I'm really rooting for uh, the other uh, grading companies, uh, CBCS, EGS, PGX. I got nothing against any of the of the other uh, grading companies, as long as they're accountable. Okay, that's it. It's like I, I and if you if you're a follower of my channel, you'll you'll understand where I'm coming from. I don't. You know, to me, whatever grades I get, and this is one of my uh, one of my things that I've, I've said in the past, is I'm an av advocate of not comparing grades between companies because ultimately it's subjective. Uh, they don't claim their grading system is not comparable to any other uh, grading system, even if they use Overstreet. That I've said that before. And I'm on their side with that. It's like it's not fair to compare, um, you know, let's say a, uh, one brand against another based on the fact that they're not using the same protocols, they're not using the same the same uh, things, okay? And based on the fact that they're grading, it's, it's all subjective what they're seeing in front of them. It's somebody's eyes. So unless they're all using the same graders, it's all coming from the same eyeball, and they all have the same. Uh, standards, which there isn't any. There isn't a standards. But Overstreet is a guide, not a standard. Okay, that's uh, people <laughs> they always come back to me with, you know, well, that's a Overstreet is a standard. No, it's not. It's uh, and it's and if you ever read the actual Overstreet, 
it is there's a lot of vagueness to go about it there's there, it's not like you measure a six inch uh, tear and therefore it has to have this grade and if you add that tear with a crease and then and, and a fold and so forth it has to have this grade it's not like that it's not that specific okay so there's a lot of interpretation going on and therefore it is tough to have a standard but unless all the companies all the different companies can uh, get together and actually uh, you know get together and iron out a standard and uh, agree to it and of course that's the only way we're going to have that okay but with regards to their own internal grading this is where I'm at and this is where I'm I'm very unhappy with CGC is because whether they have a 9.4 here okay I have other 9.4s I've seen other 9.4s from CGC I have a certain expectation of what the 9.4 would look like and would be like I expect them to perform to that standard that's all I'm saying I'm holding them to their own standard not to anybody else's and I want them to explain to me how they got to that because if for instance um, there is something that I have missed let's say uh, during transport something was dropped or uh, you know let's say um, uh, what do you call that uh, customs opened it up and decided hey some guy like my silver surfer and he's never seen that book before and then opened it up and decided to uh, read it before uh, putting it back in the box and letting it go to his CGC and then and he tore a page inside you know therefore it wouldn't be CGC's fault it wouldn't be my fault but I would have never known about it it would be only from CGC's grading that because now it's now in case it's now slabbed the only re the only way I would know about this tear right that I didn't know uh, that of course if I if I and I use and I inspect all my books both inside and out the only way for me to know that that actually happened to my book is through them letting me know and writing it down okay so take with that what you will okay I'm not I'm not uh, I'm very unhappy with CGC doing this this is I think the uh, the worst thing that they can do they're actually going away from being accountable and holding themselves to a higher standard so to me that is a step back and therefore they look like they you know they look like now they're really wanting to hide things so that's what I have for you now uh, guys I'll let uh, the rest of the video play out and then uh, uh, we'll see I mean never say never but right now I'm uh, I don't plan on sending anything uh, out to CGC um, at this point if I do um, it'll be under different circumstances folly I'm not sure yet but uh, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of upset about it at this point so that's why I don't want to say too much in case you know I'm just right now I'm just very unhappy with them uh, and then we'll see where it goes from here okay anyway you guys I'll let the rest of the video play out I will talk to you later that's the way the cookie crumbles on those sometimes you guess I guess right sometimes I guess wrong and all in all it's that's just the way we play the game that's all we can do uh, once again that's it's just a matter of uh, letting us know why we got the grades and of course as usual uh, if you see anything that you are interested in, in any one of my videos definitely hit me up on the, on the comments let me know uh, if you're interested I'll send you a link to um, my Instagram we can chat there or by email definitely we can we can uh, talk about it and see if we can't strike a deal. Um, uh, if you're, if you, not just on this video, but any of the other ones, and I'll let you know if I still have it. And if I do, then we can talk then. Okay. So aside from that, uh, if you're a regular on my channel, thank you very much for uh, uh, checking back in with me. And if you're new to my channel, uh, welcome. And if you like what you see here, the contents and how it's done, uh, definitely hit up that like button smash that like button and uh, while you're at it go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe as well that shows me your support and that gets me uh, doing more videos as well 
and of course as always hit the, or sorry uh, leave me a comment down below tell me what you think give me some of your thoughts on these or any other books and if you have any news or speculation or any recommended recommendation you want to share with me as well as uh, the community out there definitely i welcome that uh, leave that down below until next time guys comic sniper along with my sidekick mark three signing off for now i will see you guys in the next video bye bye